This new Eminem album is the most hyped up album of the year so far. Every single day we're getting more information, more leaks, more potential features that we know of. So this is another update video for all the new information that we got. I recorded the last one three days ago and I already have a full page of notes that I didn't even get through in that video. That's how fast we're getting new information. So if you want to stay up to date on all the information about Eminem's new album, subscribe to the channel because I'm making videos all the time about it. Firstly, right here, this video that I already showed you in the last video, the trailer to the album. Now if you scroll down, you can pre-save it. You have the option for Spotify and Apple Music. People don't launch the pre-save until they're just about to drop the album. Honestly, this alone makes me feel like it's early summer because you don't pre-save four months in advance. This is more proof to me that this is coming sooner than we think. Also, even though I'm making videos about the updates, I believe if you sign up with your email right here, he will update you about when stuff like this comes out. Also right here, the death of some shady coup de grace. I don't know if that's two names. I don't know if that's like the lead single to the album. I don't know, but I doubt he's going to put, what is that? Eight words into the title. I don't really see that happening. He's never really done that before. I hope he picks one or the other. And I like the death of Slim Shady better than coup de grace. Next up, someone found a Twitter post from like three years ago, two and a half years ago. Here's a picture of it. I'll read through it concept idea the album will be titled the death of slim shady that's the exact title that we know of right now it'll be a farewell to a legendary persona like we said in the last video probably the persona not eminem himself it won't be a retirement project instead it will shock fans by introducing a more laid-back lyricist that's more focused on what he says instead of how he's saying it so going into the more conscious side of eminem not just the shock value comedic side it'll pay homage to the iconic moments in eminem's career with eminem writing a letter to slim as a way of sharing how that persona impacted his life kind of like stan but talking to him Himself. It'll reflect on the controversies and how he feels about them years later, now that he's older. However, this is where it differs because people are saying Eminem took this idea basically and built this album off it, which I don't agree with. I think it's just a coincidence. Because the last line says, the album will even be different from other projects production wise because it won't have Dr. Dre's input, which isn't true. We've talked about this a couple times in the last videos. Dr. Dre has worked on it. He said in the interview that his work hadn't been mixed yet and that he was going to listen back to it. So we know that that part's not true. Instead, it will have production from The Alchemist, which is who I predicted in my last video. Ninth Wonder, Madlib, and a couple other producers. Even though it wasn't completely spot on, it's definitely pretty interesting. Like, that's a crazy coincidence. Maybe he took inspiration from that. I highly doubt it, though. I think it was just a coincidence. Now, I just said that there's a potential 50 Cent feature. The fact that he just tweeted this isn't really saying much because we know 50 Cent is a huge fan of Eminem. Always has his back, but he just tweeted that it's got some heat on it, so he's definitely heard it back at it fire emoji i feel like the fact that he said back at it after saying he retired makes me feel like 50 cent is on this i know that doesn't confirm it but he's also in an interview talking about it lately so i really feel like 50 cent is on this another thing is these screenshots these were not here when i recorded my last video but these are spotify canvases so they're moving videos i think this is from my name is or maybe without me but he's just you know doing this whatever but it says missing have you seen this man slim shady so Slim Shady's been killed, the death of Slim Shady. We go to this other screenshot, this is from a different song. Wanted, do not approach Eminem. Implying that Eminem is the murderer. This really backs up the theory from that last video that Eminem killed Slim Shady. And I believe we're going to get a whole story about Eminem killing Slim Shady, which would be amazing. That's exactly what we want. But yeah, another part I noticed was this bullet hole. I think that is. It's like on fire right here. I don't know if that's just a part of the design or what, but someone added that in. And I believe they added it in for a reason. Maybe he gets shot. Maybe he tries to destroy this poster because, I mean, you got blood on it as well. I don't know. Someone could look deeper into it than I am right now. But these are all over his Spotify. I don't know if Apple Music has that as well. But you can just go listen to his music and see if it has these. Comment down below if you find any that I missed. I've only found these two. There's also this fan-made track list. This isn't confirmed, so if you're not interested in the theories or speculation, just skip past this part if you want confirmed information. But it starts off with Crime Scene featuring Billie Eilish. We know from a lot of Billie's posts lately that there's a potential Billie Eilish feature. I don't know how I feel about that, but I'll leave it at that. There's Revenge, part three to this iconic song that's on the Marshall Mathers LP and Snoop Dogg's album. Alfred's Return from Music Be Murdered By. Mockingbird sequel with Taylor Swift, potentially. That would surprise me if that even had a feature at all because Mockingbird's known for being one of his best solo songs. A song called I'm Sorry, apologizing to all the people he's dissed. And yeah, you can just read through this. A lot of sequels, song with a Wu-Tang sample. Like there's not really much back to that. I think it's more what people are wanting. But towards the bottom, you see what's more likely to happen. Song with 50 Cent, like we can pretty much guarantee that. Another Benzino diss, I mean, that's possible. He just made Doomsday 2. I hope not. Another Forever type song that was known for having the most iconic rappers at the time all combined. So they said maybe Lil Wayne, Kendrick, and Snoop Dogg. I wouldn't really care for any of those guys. Maybe Kendrick. But I'd like to see like J. Cole, J.I.D., those kind of rappers on it. But that's always a possibility. 
another bad meets evil song i don't know how eminem and royce the five nine are doing nowadays but that'd be pretty cool to see as well but that's a list of the most requested songs i've seen now for the title of this video the album getting leaked on music to be murdered by side b we have a couple songs with someone named white gold you see zeus with white gold you gone learn with royce the five nine and white gold right so this man white gold i haven't heard any of his music except for what's with eminem someone found this snippet of eminem song featuring white gold and it's a snippet and it's a part of a song with them and people are saying it's on the album hey slim when it get wasted you got all the money in the world i know you boy no the really slim you know you can have two million holes when you tour maybe more look i thought you was a rapper besides the money ain't this what you're doing it for maybe i'm wrong so obviously it didn't sound too good don't laugh at it yet though it wasn't mixed it sounded like it was recorded on a calculator but if you put the beat aside and you listen to just the lyrics, you can hear him really asking Slim Shady the questions about why he's rapping. Talking about put the money aside, why are you doing this? And I think for the death of Slim Shady, killing off the character, this is a very good song. Putting his career into the perspective of someone else, this could really be a part of the storytelling making Slim Shady change his mindset and turn into Marshall Mathers. Or it could be a reason why Eminem killed Slim Shady. There's so much that could go behind this. I'll put a link to the description to this snippet. If you guys have any other theories after hearing that, let me know. I really believe that's on the album though. The subject matter really fits what we've seen from the theming. I think at the worst, that'll be a skit or something. Like right before the song, maybe it'll get like you in the emotional mood for like a big hitting song. Who knows? But White Gold's also been tweeting about the album kind of showing cryptic hints all signs are pointing towards this being on the album so yeah plenty of new information plenty of stuff to go through potential features songs that could be coming up little cryptic things like this that are coming up if you guys find anything like this send it to me send it on my discord send it on my instagram i'd love to add it to a video because we're trying to figure this all out as it's coming out that's the whole purpose of the rollout right finding all these hidden easter eggs piecing it all together so yeah thank you for watching if you want more eminem content click right up here i got a whole playlist full of theories brackets rankings tier list updates on the new album all that if you enjoy that subscribe if not click off the video drop a dislike i don't care comment what you've learned comment what you think could happen and thanks for watching peace out